When was the last time you asked for help? Hi, my name is Desiree, and today I want to lead us in a prayer for wisdom. When you are asked to work with a team to accomplish a goal, whether it's on a project, for school, maybe at work, or maybe even at church, and you're all in, you wanna jump in with both feet, the desire's there, the excitement's there, you wanna start working with the team, but you find yourself in this in-between. You have the desire to reach the goal, but you don't fully have the knowledge or the wisdom on how to handle everything, or maybe everyone. You realize you have a couple of choices. You can just quit and not even start. How many of us have experienced that before? Or maybe you didn't have all the details figured out just at the start and so it was just easier, safer feeling to just not start at all. Or you can ask for help or wisdom. Asking for help shows great strength and I have found that people are honored when you ask them. And how much more is the Lord when we ask him? 1 Kings 3, 10 through 13 says, The Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for wisdom. So God replied, Because you have asked for wisdom in governing my people with justice and have not asked for long life or wealth or death of your enemies, I will give you what you asked for. I will give you a wisdom and understanding heart such as no one else has ever had and ever will. And I will also give you what you did not ask for, riches and fame. Solomon asked the Lord for wisdom and he not only got wisdom, but he received more, more than he had ever asked for. The wisdom we want and we need is from the Lord. So over these 21 days, we have done our part to set aside time and go quiet before the Lord, and we've slowed down to hear Him. There is so much power in the pause. Let's keep practicing that. You will find that when you seek Him, you will what? You will find Him. Can I encourage you to make asking the Lord for wisdom a part of your daily conversations with Him? His wisdom will help you in every area of your life. When we posture our hearts towards the Lord and put our trust in Him first, He will come through for us. Proverbs 2, 6 says, For the Lord gives wisdom. From His mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Let's pray together. God, right now we come before you and we ask you for wisdom. Your scripture says that when we ask you, that you will fulfill the desires of our heart, that you will give us wisdom, that you will give us knowledge, that you will give us peace beyond our own understandings. So right now, wherever we're at in our lives, whether we're in a room packed full of people or sitting in a room all by ourselves, God, I thank you that you will meet us there. And Lord, we just ask for your wisdom in whatever decisions that we need to make, whether it's a quick one that we need to make or it's a decision that will bring things for us in years to come. We come before you and we seek no one else but your wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.